Yeah, welcome back to my page. Today we are going to discuss multiplication of matrices. I would like you to calm down and, and pay attention to what I'm going to say. If you want to multiply two matrices together, once you multiply a row and a column, you are going to get one number. Let's start with an example. Example, you are asked to multiply three, two, four, Dots, this dot means multiplication times 0, 3, 1. 2, 3, 4 times 0, 3 minus 1. When you're giving something like this, this is one column. This is one row. This is one column. So when you multiply one row and one column, you're going to get one number. What does that mean? When you have something like this, this one we multiply this. That is, this is the first number in this matrix. This is the first number here. So the first we multiply the first, second we multiply the second, third we multiply the third. And as you are multiplying them, you are just forming one single number. See what I'm going to do now. So solution. Solution. We have three times zero. Three times zero plus two times three. Two times three. Plus 4 times minus 1. 4 times minus 1. Notice that the first multiplies the first. The second multiplies the second. The third multiplies the third. Okay? So we go ahead to get the result. 3 times 0 is 0. Plus 2 times 3 is 6. Plus 4 times minus 1 is minus 1. So we are going to have minus 1 here. Because plus times minus will always give you minus. So 4 times minus 1 will give you minus 4. Okay, so we go ahead to solve this. 0 plus 6 will give you 6. 6 minus 4 will give you 2. And this becomes your answer. Very easy, right? Okay, let's go ahead and solve the second example. Second example, it says, let's solve something similar to what we just solved. That one says 10, 5, 2. 10, 5, Two multiplied by one three six one three six. Now this is equal to when you are faced with something like this, as usual, what do you do? The first we multiply the first, the second we multiply the second, the third we multiply the third, and whatever you are getting, you are adding them together because you are just going to form one single number whenever one row multiplies one column. So let's go ahead and do this. This is equal to 10 times 1. 10 times 1 plus 5 times 3. 5 times 3 plus 2 times 6. 2 times 6. The first to the first, second to the second, third to the third. If you're able to multiply, understand this, you will understand the ones we are going to do after this. That is higher number of what? Matrices. So 10 times 1 will give us 10. Plus 5 times 3 will give us 15. Plus 2 times 6 will give us 12. Now, this is equal to 10 plus 15 will give us 25. 25 plus 12 is going to give us 37. And this becomes our answer. Okay, now let us go to a 2 by 2 matrix. When you are asked to multiply a 2 by 2 matrix by a 2 by 2 matrix, say for example, Example, you are asked to multiply, we have A is equal to 3, 2, 1, 4. And your B is equal to 1, 3, 2, 2, 1, 3, 2, 2. And we are asked to multiply, we are asked to find or evaluate A dot B, meaning a times b okay so how do we do this this is equal to this is our a three two one four right dot this is our b one three two two so what do we do what we need to do is that we will open our brackets and we do exactly the same thing we did here we are going to use one row to multiply one column to get a single number but this time around, we have one row, one column, another row, another column. 
Do you understand? So you notice that we are going to be forming one row, one column, one row, one column. We are going to be forming one number, one number, one number, one number. Just come, keep calm and see how I'm going to do it, okay? So we are now going to have as usual solution. Solution. We will have this is the first row. It will now multiply the first column. So we we'll open our bracket like this. So three, which is one, we go to the first one here. Two, which is two, we go to the second one here. Okay. First to first, second to second. Remember, we are going like this and like this. So the whole of this we multiply this first column to give us one single number. And because we know we are targeting one single number, we will be adding whatever we got together. So it's going to be three, we multiply one, right? So you're going to have three times one plus these two, we multiply these two, two times two. Why am I adding together? Because when one row multiplies one column, I'm just getting one number. Now I've gotten the first number that's going to be here. Remember that we have two columns here, this one and this one. We are not going to throw away this three and two now, right? No, that means we will still use this three and two to multiply this three and two, this second column. And when we use this one to multiply this one, we are going to form our second number here, okay? All right, so we are going to do it now. The first we go to the first, the second we go to the second. So it's going to be three times three. We have three times three here, plus this two times this two, two times two. Now we are true, like we are true for the first row. Why did I close this? Because this first row, we are true with it. Everything concerning it. We have used this first row to multiply this first column to get this number. We use this again to multiply the second column to get the second number. Okay, perfect. Now let's go over to the second row. Once we get to this second row, we are going to start our second formation for the second row. So it means that this one and four is going to multiply this to give us the first number that will be here. Then this one and four, we multiply this second row again to give us what? The second number that will be here. This will multiply the first column. This will also multiply the second column. Okay, let's go. So you're going to have one times one. You have one times one plus you have four times two. Four times two. So at this point, we have formed the first number by using this one to multiply this one. So I'm not going to use it again to multiply this. So the first will multiply the first, the second will multiply the second. Because we are multiplying the second column, we are going to form the second number. So let's go, one times three, right? One times three plus four times two, four times two. One, two, three, four to two. We are done. Once you are true, what do you do? We now go ahead to open this bracket. So this is equal to three times one will give us three plus two times two will give us four. Now three times three will give us nine plus two times two will give us four. One times one will give us one plus four times two will give us eight. One times three will give us three plus four times two will give us eight. Okay, now let's find our final answer. Don't worry, stick with me. We are still going to do this again so that you understand it, okay? Now, 3 plus 4 will give us 7. 9 plus 4 will give us 13. 1 plus 8 will give us 9. And 3 plus 8 will give us 11. So this becomes our answer. Very easy, right? Yes, I know. <laughs> okay, let's do another example of what? A 2 by 2 so that you understand it perfectly. Another 2 by 2 multiplying each other. Okay, let's solve this one. We are told that A is equal to 2143. 2143. And B is equal to 1203. 1203. And we are asked to multiply the both of them together. So we are asked to multiply A and B together. Okay. So we are giving A dot B is going to be equal to 2143. 2143. Three dot what b is one two one two zero three. Now, how do we get the results? As usual, we're going to open what our brackets. Now, remember that this row we multiply the first column, this row we also multiply the second column. Let me underline it. 
So this will go into the first and the second column. If it goes into the first column, it's going to form a number. And if it goes into the second column, it's going to form the second number. So let's go first to first, second to second. The first we multiply the first, the second we multiply the second. So it's going to be two times one, two times one plus one times zero, one times zero. So we have formed the first number by using the first row to multiply the first column, okay? So we are not going to throw this one away now, no. So this one, we also multiply this to form the second number that will be here. So we are going to go now. The first we multiply the first, the second we multiply the second. So we are going to have two times two to form the second number, two times two plus one times three, one times three, okay? And we close. See what I did? This is the first row. We have used it to multiply this first column here to get this number here. But we also have the second column. So we use it again to multiply the second column to get this number here. And we are done. Once you, are used, you have used it to multiply the first column and the second column, there is no other column here, so you are true. Now we are going into the second row. This second row, this four and three now. So once we have gotten to the second row, we are going to start from the second row here as well. Now, if we use this second row to multiply the first column, we are going to form the first number here. If we use it again to multiply the second column, we are going to form the second number here, okay? So let's do that. We are going to have the first we multiply the first, remember, the second we multiply the second. Let's go. So we are now going to use this one, this row, to multiply the first one to form the first number. Let's do that. So the first we multiply the first, the second we multiply the second. Let's go. So it's going to be four times one, four times one plus three times zero, three times zero. We are true with forming the first number here because we have used this to multiply this. Now we are going to use this again to multiply the second column to form the second number here. So we will now give space and we start. The first we multiply the first, the second we multiply the second. So it's going to be four times two. We have four times two plus three times three, three times three. That is just it, okay? So let's go ahead and solve. Two times one will give us two, plus one times zero will give us one. Two times two will give us four, plus one times three will give us three. Four times one will give us four, four times one will give us four, plus three times zero will give us three. 4 times 2 will give us 8, plus 3 times 3 will give us 9, okay? We go ahead to solve. We have our final result as 2 plus 1 will give us 3, 4 plus 3 will give us 7, 4 plus 3 will give us another 7, 8 plus 9 is going to give us 17, and this becomes our final answer. All right, if you have followed me to this stage, and this is the first time you are coming across my post, please, I ask you for just one thing. Like the video, comment, share, so that it will get to the students that need it, okay? And also subscribe and on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. Thank you very much. So this becomes your final answer. All right, okay, let's do one more example. What if you are asked to simplify or to solve? We have 1, 3, 6, 5, 2, 4. This is what we have. I am asked to use it to multiply 1, 5, 10. Okay, as when you have something like this, how do you go about it? This is very easy. How? Once you know that when you multiply one row and one column, you form one number. It will be easy for you to solve. So we are now going to do what? Solution. We open our what? Our bracket. We open it. Now when we open this bracket now, we are going to use this first row to multiply the first column. Then remember, whenever you use first row to multiply, whenever you use one row to multiply one column, you are forming a number. So you keep adding. Okay? So that means let's do this. The first we multiply the first. Second, we multiply the second. Third, we multiply the third. So we are going to have one times one, one times one, plus, because this multiplying this, we are just forming one number, okay? So three, we multiply five, three times five, plus six, we multiply 10, 
6 times 10. Now, I'm going to close my brackets here. Why? Because there is no other column to multiply. So we have used this to multiply this column. Once there is no other column to multiply, I don't disturb myself again. As mean there is another column to multiply, I'll just give space here and start multiplying another column. Okay? Now, that means we are through with the first, column, first row. We will now start with the second row. We now use this second row to multiply this one again. But this time around, we are now going to form another number as the second number. Okay? So let's go. The first we multiply the first, second we multiply the second, third we multiply the third. So 5 times 1, you have 5 times 1 plus 2 times 5, 2 times 5 plus 4 times 10, 4 times 10. Okay, now we go ahead and solve. This is equal to, we open our brackets, 1 times 1, we give us 1 plus 3 times 5, you give us 15 plus 6 times 10, you give us 60. We close. Okay? Now, 5 times 1, you give us 5. Plus 2 times 5, we give us 10. Plus 4 times 10, we give us 40. Are you seeing anything? Okay, let's continue. You now have 1 plus 15, we give you 16. 16 plus 16, we give you 76. For this one, we have 5 plus 10, we give us 15. 15 plus 40, 15 plus 40, we give us 55. 55. So this becomes our answer. All right. In our next class, we are going to discuss multiplication of a three by three matrix. I want to treat that one separate because I know it is more tactical. A three by three matrix and what determinants of how to do, how to get the determinant of a three by three matrix also. Now I'd like you to do this assignment. Assignment. Solve this if you can. If you can, try to solve this. You are asked to solve 6132, 6132. That is multiplied by 2 minus 1 minus 3, 6. 2 minus 1 minus 3 and 6. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.